hope everybody is getting a lot out of these uh, licks. Uh, we've been doing a lot of kind of bebop stuff, and so I figured uh, we'd venture away from that for a little bit um, and start dealing with some, some slightly different stuff. Uh, today we're going to do a Jeff Tame Watts lick. Uh, man, he's got so much great vocabulary. Uh, but seeing as how we've been talking so much about how many of these licks are based in three beat phrases, uh, and, and for good reason, that's, that's a great way to make something swing if you put it in the right spot. Well, one thing Tay was great at, or is great at, is, uh, is stretching phrases out longer than that. So today we're going to look at a five beat phrase. Uh, it's got that same kind of thing where it loops and uh, you got to learn how to come out of it correctly, but also uh, not just to play five notes, but to find a hip way to phrase those five notes so, um, so it swings well. So he, he does it with fives and he's done it with sevens as well. So, um, and when I say fives and sevens, I want to be clear, um, although he's got phrases that are quintuplets and septuplets, which are five notes in the space of four or seven notes in the space of four, uh, these fives and sevens are actually just um, straight eighth notes, just grouped in five beat phrases, the same way we've been dealing with three note groupings, uh, which are three eighth notes versus a triplet. So, because um, that ha has been confusing um, for some people in the past. So, the five note grouping we're going to deal with, um, he uses when he solos, um, but he mainly keeps time through it, uh, either on the ride cymbal and the hi hat on two and four. Uh, or sometimes he'll break up that hi-hat as well. So while that's going on, the pattern really just falls in the feet. He uses this to solo with. He also uses it to comp with. And I always like phrases like that, that I can use to comp uh, or to solo with. So um, the big beats of the phrase, uh, the part that your ears should really try to latch onto. Again, it's gonna loop in a five beat pattern. So um, what, I, what I did is I wrote out a little PDF of the pattern over four bars. So we have to find some way to resolve it so it comes out of the fourth bar correctly. Um, that's just so you guys have a clear picture of it. The idea is not to be stuck playing a four bar phrase of it. Um, not even to be stuck playing it where he starts it, which is on the downbeat. You can move it to other beats. So the big beats in the phrase, uh, the little four bar phrase that I've kind of put together for us, uh, goes like this. It's, it's gonna come from the bass drum and the snare drum. One, two, a one, two, three, four, one, two, and four, and two, three, and one, and three, four, and two, and four, one. That's the four bar phrase. One, two, three, four, one, two, and four, and two, three, and one, and three, four, and two, and four, one. And again, that last little part that just resolves it is something I came up with just because you have to have a way to get in and out of all of these different phrases and that's just a nice clean way to make a five beat phrase fit into four bars. So with that in mind let's talk about uh, the kind of the inner workings of it. Like I said the ride symbols it, the ride symbols cruising along uh, and you can also play it with the hi-hat we're just going to focus on um, the bass drum and snare drum part. It's a five note grouping and he groups it in, in a fairly common way which is to, to take um, uh, the first two beats and phrase them and then, and then you have three beats left over. So a lot of times we'll see that sticking. Uh, if I just played it in my hands, a five note sticking, which is fairly common, is right, left, right, left, left. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So what he does is he takes that sticking right, left, right, left, left. One, two, three, four, five. And he replaces the right with the foot. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Or uh, foot, left, foot, left, foot. It's just actually that phrase looped over and over again. There's nothing different about it except the phrasing, which is something I've been harping on this whole time. Not just the sticking or where you place it, but where the emphasis is. So the emphasis in particular comes uh, with one main snare drum accent uh, and then pretty much all the bass drums. So um, if it's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, the accent comes in the second grouping of five on the second stroke. So one, two, three, 
So if I speed that up a little bit, you can hear the phrasing a little better. But really when you're playing it, although uh, your, your left hand is filling in those uh, holes and you can break it down into that five note grouping, much easier to think of it and phrase it just thinking of the big beats and knowing that your left hand is filling in. that so um, as you're playing it just focus on the part and allow your left hand to fill in if you need to break down each beat it's all it's all gonna be written there in the PDF and you can see it as just two five note groupings with that one accent in the second grouping but uh, that's only if you're having trouble with it try your best to just hear that one two and four and that little phrase there uh, and then it's just a matter of filling in with the left hand. That way it doesn't feel so much like a like a, a ten note pattern as much as it feels like dun dun So good luck with that phrase. Um, if you need the PDF, it'll be down there. Uh, also, I almost forgot to mention. Um, so I looked up a good recording of this. There's a um, Jim Snydero uh, album. From I think it's from the 80s. Uh, the album cover looks like it's from the 80s. Um, and uh, Tane is on there. Um, I think the track is called um, Duff's Tune, um, D-U-F-F. -F. Uh, and uh, the name of the record is Mixed Bag. But uh, during that, I think it's a blues. It's a pretty up-tempo blues. Uh, and during those, uh, during the end when it starts to trade with Tane, you'll hear somewhere in there. He plays, he plays it for a while, definitely more than four bars. Um, so I think it's a pretty easy shot, um, and I'll, I'll try to list the time and everything in the comments section of this. But good luck, there's a five uh, note grouping phrase. It's a little bit of an extension, a little bit more modern uh, and a stretch from some of the bebop stuff we've been working on. Okay, good luck.